been a photographer for quite a few years and I used to shoot a lot of stuff for magazines, oh record it. companies, um, mostly portraits and uh, that used to keep me pretty busy. You know, I'd shoot maybe three or four things a week. But the, the work started getting really thin on the ground. There were big changes with magazines and the record industry, uh, you know, due to everything going online. And uh, a lot of magazines were closing, their budgets were getting cut. So I was not getting enough work. In the meantime, for my own pleasure, I've been taking road trips by myself, taking photographs just for my own pleasure. And out of desperation, I thought maybe I can try to sell some of these out on the street, you know, just to just to help with the rent. So I started coming out here, and um, I found I liked it. It was it was working, and I got to a point where I was doing quite well. And so I actually quit doing the other thing, and this took over. Not long after I started doing this, and a, a, a Swedish gallery owner from Stockholm saw me on the street and bought a lot of large prints for me and gave me a show and I've had three solo shows in Sweden. Even though I do fairly well out here, if I didn't also have the, the gallery sales, it would be tough financially. People come and go, it's not that easy to make a living out here. And so oh, there aren't as many as there used to be, but there's a kind of a core group that have been out here for years. I've been an artist now for six years. I thought I was going to be a factory worker for my whole life. And then I thought that I was going to be a journalist. And then I thought I was going to be an advertising person. And then uh, I found out that I was going to be an artist. When I'm adding um, my personal experience through language um, into a piece, um, that for me is what makes it art um, or where I get to the point where I can define it as art. A lot of my pieces capture particular moments in my life. Yeah, so that's sort of where, uh, what, what I call like real weird art. When I discovered that I could express myself in a way that felt incredibly true to me um, and people were responding to it, I couldn't think of an alternative of something I would rather be doing. And I had left Indiana in pursuit of that. Our primary market is the Union Square Holiday Market, which is going on right now. I was having like this existential thing because I was, you know, every time you go out to sell, especially, you know, if you, if you don't consider yourself an artist or you don't know if you're an artist, I, you feel this guilt about taking the spot that an artist would normally be in. And so I had the struggle of should I be here and, and you know, am I, am I being true to whatever, you know, this is? And I realized at a certain point that I was making artwork for the people who considered my art art. 